Hello and welcome to Stafford Death Rage's Netflix Nasties. I'm your host, Stafford Death Rage. Today we're going to ruin the asylum horror film Little Dead Riding Hood. The fairy tale of Little Red Riding Hood is given the asylum treatment in this dreadful horror film. The film opens with Grandma getting fully grown Little Red Riding Hood mostly killed and burying her in the front yard to fulfill some vague destiny. Little Red Riding Hood claws her way out of the grave zombie-like while wearing some sort of clawed wolf gloves. Grandma offs herself for some reason, and Little Red Riding Hood is now wearing a little red crop top and sporting some fresh zombie wounds, demon eyes, and vampire teeth. I'm not sure why. A wolf attack ruins a douchey party of 30-year-old teenagers on a pier where one of those Burning Man flame twirlers is considered entertainment. Suddenly, there's some overused and continuity-defying fog, a crucial-to-the-plot strip tease and lap dance, and an indoor continuity-defying wolf attack. I'm not sure why. The cops investigate, and they form an angry, coot-filled mob to hunt for wolves. When a crazy coot carrying a flamethrower joins the hunting party, the deputy says, we're not storming the beaches at Normandy. I'm not sure why. Did the soldiers who stormed the beaches at Normandy carry flamethrowers? Again, I'm not sure. Maybe we should check Wikipedia, or maybe we shouldn't. The sheriff buys 30 pounds of meat from the silver train car diner that's featured in every Asylum movie, and I think he meant a slab of ribs, which he dangles from a tree as wolf bait. Suddenly, there's an unconvincing werewolf transformation scene, a less than thrilling fight scene, and the neighborhood SWAT team shows up. Someone digs in one inch of the soil of a fresh grave, finding an important to the plot cape and sword, which I'm nearly certain wasn't in the original fairy tale. The sheriff gets involved in some family strife, where his wife dumps his kids on him so they're conveniently in danger. Little Dead Rotting Hood contains a poorly rendered CGI big bad biped wolf, dialogue that includes the phrase sweet patootie and at least one stuffed wolf. It's yawn inducing, doesn't make an awful lot of sense, and it took me four days to watch it because it kept falling asleep from boredom. I'm still not sure why Little Red Riding Hood had to become a werewolf zombie. Maybe they explained that while I was asleep. Little Dead Rotting Hood is another example of Asylum taking a germ of an idea from a fairy tale and expanding it into a germ of a genre film. Avoid Little Dead Rotting Hood like it was a forest full of werewolf zombies. 